Let me at him! Well, there it is. Hello, this is Witty, and welcome to a Warcraft 3 4 vs 4 random team game. And I am a human, because there is a human strategy. Well, actually this strategy could apply to pretty much any race, but humans do tend to have a lot of the things that it requires. And I shall go into more detail in a moment. Now I'm going to read this out in a very boring, monotone voice, because the strategy is about passives, basically. And I feel like passives, you know, you're very sort of docile, not very active, so you're just in the background, so a nice boring accent or not even an accent just a boring voice would do the trick so I don't really use boring voices often so I'm gonna try to think about how it would sound and then I'll do it so everything is hot keyed up I'm a pink human that's not quite so boring that's a bit flamboyant if anything but there you go fine I'm a flamboyant passive-aggressive human and uh, just want to get the first hero coming out. What's it going to be? Quick, place your bets now. Any second. Here we go. And it's the Paladin. Okay. Tyler Smith says, Hey, mate. Big fan. Watched a lot of your videos, but thought I could give a strat suggestion. Go hardcore noob aura passives build with units that support them. Maybe human. Paladin with devotion aura. Footman's to Archmage and Brilliance Aura with Priests or Sorks. Mountain King Bash passive items. Basically, you're free to choose whatever hero or skills or units you would like, but base your tactics off auras and passives. There you go, that wasn't too bad an attempt, it's not something I excel at. Thank goodness. So, I'm a pro 4 versus 4 player. Yes I am indeed, and what do I do if I am a pro 4 versus 4 player? I go auras first. Particularly as my first ability as well. So, we're gonna need that armor so that I can tank up the damage that I'm about to receive here. There we go, tank up that damage. Now we'll get the militia to do some tanking, and all will be well. Do I even need an expansion? No. Not straight off the bat. I'll probably still get one, but I'm not going to race to it. I'm going to carry on creeping, like a pro. I'm going to heal up a little bit. No, I'm not, because it's not even close to night time. So I might actually go for an expand. Or at least clear it. At the very least, I could clear and expand. So that would work. Plus I've got that Devotion Aura, which is going to make... Oh, it's 1.5. That's pretty imbalanced. Check out the imbalance, man. That is super duper, that is. Mm. I'll get a heal now, because <laughs> I'm going to need a little bit of healing. Gives my paladin sign to do as well. Divine Shield is very tempting, because that's also kind of passive. But as long as I've got the Devotion Aura, that's the main thing. Oh, you think you want to heal on your hero, dear? Well, I don't know about that, mate. Go on, waste some of your extra shots on that guy. <laughs> this guy keeps going, doesn't he? Oh god, the mine! Nah, that's alright, mate. Thank you, though. He doesn't... He, he plays by his own rules, this guy. Clearly. I ping to go and do this, but... He's his own man. He doesn't listen to the likes of a noob that goes paladin and... Devotion Aura first. This is where the healing light is going to be necessary to allow me to actually stay in this game somewhat competitively. I'll see if I can distribute my damage. But if I need to, I'll use another healing light. But it's nice to try to get level 3. You know. There we go. 
Yes, me lord. All right, easy. I am not Stay afraid. Away. Justice will be served. Get a healthier footman I to heal that, uh, to tank that rather. Orders. <laughs> that knoll is really playing with me. Oh, did you see that? I told him to attack, but I've said it before and I'll say it again. The trolls are freaking nasty pieces of work. They do not really pay attention to what you're telling them to do or trying to manipulate them into doing. There we go. That's what I was after. More powerful holy light. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm going to have to respec. My bad. This is the passive strategy. It's just more of a habit. Force a habit. Don't worry about it. I've got this. I'm going to tech up as soon as I can. May as well see if someone's willing to give me some wood because I want to get the Archmage as well. Plus, um, a Shredder would be really, really good right now. Does look like I'm probably not going to get any wood. So, if you don't get anything straight away, you generally don't get anything. That's the way it works. Come on, guys. Let's finish this up. Bring in some wood. Make it all good. There we go. The Shredder. Z is mine. She is mine. That'll do. I also want to get a tech going too. Now the bottom bit hasn't been crept, so I'm going to go and do that. And then when I can respec, I'm going to respec to level 2 Devotion Aura. It's just simply... The inner me says, No! How could you possibly consider getting the highest level in auras first? So I'm really having to fight with myself here. You know? I'm really having to fight myself. And I lost, basically, which is going to cost me, because now I'm going to have to spend that money on a... Well, money that I didn't need to spend on a Tome of Retraining. Yeah, that's all good. Archmage, we want that little fella next. <laughs> Imagine the Tinker without, with Aura only. Would he be like the first worst one? I am going Mountain King though, I guess, because that's part of the strategy. But I was just thinking Tinker would have like be the worst hero to just get passives only, and not anything else, because his passive boosts his other abilities. But if he doesn't have any other abilities, then that's got to be the worst passive, surely. There we go. I'll take that. You can go quite far with a Paladin, actually. Just uh, healing up. Let's give that cheeky little level 1 a heal. And let's get some casters now. A lot of casters. And maybe a workshop as well, for good measure. There you go, buddy. You're all healed. Don't underestimate the power of the Paladin. This doesn't look like a comfortable creep spot, but I'm going to do it anyway, apparently. Let's get the Archmage Brilliant Sora. They're going to be more Holy Lights. So it is kind of necessary to go Holy Light with this strategy. I know that technically you could argue that Divine Shield is the mo next most passive ability, and I'd somewhat agree with you there, but it's got to have a little bit of flexibility. You've got to give me some leeway, at least, because otherwise this is going to be quite <laughs> bad. Hill! Is that Archmage here? Yeah, I need that Brilliant Sora. Yes, my time. Is that another tome of intelligence that my Archmage can get? Okay, no, it's actually strength. Maybe <laughs> tempted to give it to the Archmage because the Paladin got the intelligence. Mostly just because I just don't want that Farseer ninja in it. Also, let's give this Archmage some nice DPS. Check this out. Let's look at his items. Plus 15 damage with a Claws of Attack plus 9 and 2 Mantles of Intelligence. And don't forget, I've got an Orc on support here with an extra 0.15 armor and I just remembered. I've got to go respec now. So I'm going to send him off to respec. Let's get some casters. Um, technically, tanks have a passive. So I might actually be a bit cheeky and go tanks, but really I could get one of almost everything. In that sense. Oh. Is this a fight? Yes, this is a fight. Oh wow, they really did mass up. Okay, Mr. Paladin, let's respec you into the awesome Devotion Aura. Uh, should I? I, I will I'll go Divine Shield because it's technically as passive as you can be. I know, I know. <sighs> it's the right thing to do for this strategy. Well, technically it's the wrong thing to do, but with the strategy only in mind... It is the most supportive thing for the strategy. 
So there's no holy lights or nothing. It's just pure divine shield, beautifulness, devotion aura, and brilliance aura. Get on that blade muscle. Look at that. Oh, he's gone invisible. How did they do that? Blade masters can do that? Oh, that must be imbalanced. Statues next, because that's a bit of a passive amazing imbalance there. And I've got to fight away the enemy passives, because passives are the strongest things in this game, which is why I'm doing that. Level 2 Divine Shield. Freaking get in there. Oh, look at those fiends. If only I could holy light them. But maybe I have a better solution to dealing with that. I'm just going to run my paladin in with Divine Shield and chase them aimlessly, constantly. <laughs> look at this brilliant sword. <laughs> These guys just seem so bad. Here he goes. I don't want to get slowed though, so let one of the footmen get slowed. He won't get slowed if he's got devotion. Oh, down it goes. We got him. We had him trapped. Okay, get in there. The Archmage will support you. Oh, look at that. Awesomeness. Just the nuisance. What a nuisance. Oh my. That's an enemy blade master. Those are bad. I'll just keep on taking out the Acolytes for the time being. And run away with my awesome Archmage. He's too awesome to stand around taking damage. Yes! Another one bites the dust. And unfortunately, the rest of my characters are fucking patrolling in. Or rather, rallying in. Oh, Archmage, don't die on me. Don't get coiled. Because there's one coming your way. Three, two, one. No. Okay, I thought I may as well put something on it. Paladin's starting to take damage now. So I'm going to run him away for a little bit. Oh, he did get coiled. There we go. Archmage, you've served your purpose. Oh, look, there's a tank there as well. Fuck it. I've rallied everything. I've really got to rally stuff at the back of my base because this has backfired on me. He's coming back in, Mr. Paladin. He actually has invulnerability pot as well, just to make this a bit more of a joke. Do I have a footman doing something? Oh, no, that's his. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah! The Paladin seemed to be level 5 if you can keep picking off these Acolytes. Well, soon... Uh, ish. Not quite yet. I don't know what all those peasants are doing down there. I guess they just wanted to join the party. Archmage can just hang around here with the casters or something. Boost up their mana. This Blade Master is really backing up his buddy, isn't he? There's my um, invulnerability pot I've just taken. Oh, they're really coming after me. I'm going to get out of there. I'm probably going to get hexed, to be honest, unless he's too slight. Or he had healing wave first. But I can't hang around there any longer. Mm, it would have been close. I might have been able to get another Divine Shield off. But I was still trapped. And let's face it. What the hell were they all doing there? Was my one paladin that... <laughs> that <laughs> my one paladin that's gone like auras only was that much of a threat to them? Really? That much of a threat? Anyway, let's come over here. I've actually got my tanks with the passive barrage to help um, creep this spot, which is intentionally what I was trying to do the whole time. Sole purpose of getting the tanks. I'm going to rally things to the Archmage because he's more flexible. And, well, I wouldn't say necessarily less suicidal, but less suicidal. What's that? Oh, some fucking casters. What am I doing? That's a lot of casters. Ooh, ooh, ooh me. I really want to get Spellbreakers now. They're passives, aren't they? They have a passive. Yes, they do. Their ability to steal spells is a passive. So I'm going to frickin' get that. And this uh, has a bit of defense, but might not be enough. That tank is doing a really poor job of picking these off. Why is that one healing that more? Oh, I see. Yep. We need to get some frickin' spell breakers out. That control magic is an active ability, so I'm not allowed to get that. And look how much wood I got. What the hell's wrong with me? Oh! Okay. Somewhere down the line, I lost five peons and didn't ever realise. I'm sure someone's been shouting that at me for like the last god knows how long, but yeah, I really didn't realise that, clearly. Archmage, even more passive damage. I'm actually not even going to give him abilities. He is just pure passive, boy. They're coming in on the suicide, but my allies are ready to defend, so good luck with that, to be quite frank with you. More tanks. 
these guys almost want to get me another expansion and I'm tempted to allow them to do it. Wait, there we go. There we go, everything's rallied up now, hotkeyed, it's looking good. It's quite tempting to get a fast expansion. There isn't an, oh, there is an orc, but he's quite far away, but not too far away. So I'm going to get me a quick little sneaky fast expansion. Because I basically can do it within a very short period of time. So I'm going to go and do that by the time the Paladin gets there. Oh, that's really annoying having that one button there. I really want to upgrade it into something. But I can't. I probably will end up doing it just passively. But that's more of an accidental thing out of habit than it is out of doing it because I'm trying to cheat or anything like that. My allies are actually working quite well together. Shame I'm not. I'm useless. I'm, I'm a freaking noob, I am. Let's get in there. We don't really need the tanks. That'll do. Hmm. A bit more tanking. A bit more spellbreaker. A bit more good. I guess I haven't really got many priests. I could get some priests, actually. I'll get some priests. Let's get this super fast town hall up. That could basically go up. Not quite as, as quick, but pretty quick. Get myself a second set then. Load up these tanks. Oh my goodness. I can only fit one freaking two tanks in it. My allies have basically finished the game before I can get around to doing anything. It does look like they've won this now. <laughs> it is a passive strategy. It's a passive strategy, you know. I don't have to do much. I'm a passive player. I'm just there. Kind of. Not really that noticeable. That's the passive strategy. I'm surprised they haven't left, because this seems like a quite a clear victory for my allies. That's definitely enough of a strong enough victory. Let's keep getting Zeppelins, until I can eventually afford to... Oh look, someone is getting an expansion. My passiveness isn't completely useless. Get in there! Quick, Divine Shield. Bit nasty, actually, that arcane tower. Going on my uh, sorks with their mana. I don't think he's going to be able to upgrade any of those, to be quite frank with you. And they don't like their undead ally. I'm sure he tried. And in the end, isn't that all that matters? No. Yep. Allies pretty much wipe the floor with this. Better send the Paladin in. If you want something killed, you send the Paladin in with Devotion Aura and Divine Shield. That Devotion Aura isn't particularly useful when you're invulnerable, but hey. I'm not going to argue too much. Why is this 3.6? Oh, it's because it's stacking with Circlet of Nobility. Now we know. Now we know. One guy left, I guess. It's the purple guy. Guy, what is purple? The blood elves awake. Ah, and he's given up. There's the GG. I didn't even get the third hero. <laughs> the Archmage had two bits there, so I could have got level two brilliance aura. Passive aggressive. There you go. It worked. You can't deny that. It did technically work. But <laughs> there isn't too much to it. I'm just there in the background, melted in. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. This has been Witty. Please subscribe, like and comment. And if you like this, then share it with your friends or favorite the video. It helps me out. And I'll see you later.